Monday afternoon, NASA will attempt to land a spacecraft on Mars. It's been done before, but the thin Martian atmosphere makes it very difficult. 60% of attempted landings on Mars have failed. Here's Chris Martinez. Liftoff of the Atlas V. Nearly seven months to the day NASA's InSight lander launched from California, the 800-pound spacecraft is finally reaching its destination, and the toughest part of the journey is still ahead. That's actually the camera where we're going to get our first picture. Farah Alabe is part of the engineering team that designed InSight's instruments. She says data from the mission will reveal more about the red planet's core. That is, if it survives its seven-minute landing in one piece. We call them the seven minutes of terror because at that point, there's nothing we can do. NASA scientists estimate the spacecraft will enter Mars' atmosphere at just over 12,000 miles an hour. A supersonic parachute deploys first to slow the descent, then InSight drops from its heat shields about a mile above the surface, free-falling until reverse thrusters put on the final brakes. We have one shot, we have to do it well, um, and we can't, you know, if we end up being on the little rock or something, and then that could actually affect our science. If it all goes well, scientists expect InSight to beam back critical information for at least the next two years, helping pave the way for a manned mission to Mars. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Pasadena, California.